Okay guys, I figured I'd show you another video on how to create camera systems on your avatars. Uh, it can be kind of tricky, but as long as you follow the processes, you should be okay. First, we're going to start off by right-clicking, going to Create, Material, name it Camera to make it easier. I'm going to name it Camera 5 because I have multiples in this project. Then you go right click again, create, render texture, and name this the same thing to make it easier to find. First we're going to adjust the camera size. The size is located right here in the inspector. You can set it to 12 to 1200, my bad, by 900. Then in that case you have a higher resolution on the camera. Then we're going to select the material. We're going to click and drag in the render texture right here. You can switch this shading on to this. I would recommend using Unlit because it makes it look vibrant and bright and look very clean. So next we're going to work on what objects we're going to have that's going to be right there. So for example I'm going to just use a plane. So, I click and drag in the material onto the plane and position it however I want. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and do something like this. I'm just going to kind of leave this like this, just as a demonstration purpose. I'm also going to put this model right here. So that in that case, we have something to look at through the camera. Next, we're going to right click on the character and we're going to locate the camera. Now the camera is going to locate, it's going to be located like, how to explain it, wherever you point it'll follow depending on where it's mapped out. Right now I have all this in my my main body so let's go ahead and we'll move this all over to my right hand there so now that it's it will follow with it now we need to configure the camera first we have to remove all three of these you go to the gear wheel remove component and repeat the process Next, we're going to take the render texture that we created, drag it into target texture. And now you can see that the camera is showing it. Like I said, you can adjust this around to a comfortable setting or however you choose if you want to put it into a smartphone or something like that. You can also change your field of view and everything else like normal. But for testing purposes, I'm going to leave it like this just to make it a little bit easier. Next, to start to create the animation, we're going to have to uncheck camera. So let me show you what I mean by that. So we're going to go ahead, duplicate this, have the first body, and then we're going to go to animation and create. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to select the camera. We're going to push record. And we're going to have the camera being toggled on. This will enable the camera to stay on constantly. And you have to select this. Do not select the game object. Otherwise, nobody else will see it but you. Now that we have the constantly active one on, let's go ahead and make it so it takes photos. So then it just, when you hit your other trigger, it will record that instance of whatever it was looking at last. Now this does vary for people who load in after you've taken the picture, they will not be able to see it. Or if there's a massive leg spike, 
it does tend to lose it. So we'll name this picture taken. We're going to record and just toggle it on and then off. Hit copy, paste, and that's it. Now, if we do this, we can now notice the camera and the character are being moved, but the picture is still remaining the exact same. Unlike if we had it like this, it'd be constantly moving. I hope this video helps you out, and enjoy.